Hey, for anyone who's watching, my name is Victoria and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this whole quarantine, this whole everything has been really hard on everyone, obviously, but there are some little things that have really just either kept me going, made me really excited, just newfound things that I really, really love and feel like I either can't live without or don't want to. <laughs> so today's video is going to be quarantine things. Why did I say it would be? Today's video is going to be, oh my God, I just already forgot. Today's video is going to be quarantine things that I'm loving. If you're interested in seeing some of the things that I absolutely just adore, keep on watching. The first category I want to go over is food. We all love food. I love food. I have really been enjoying getting into cooking and experimenting with new meals during this time. That's something I've always enjoyed, but there are nights where I just want to have something that's really easy. Just pop it in the oven, throw it on a pan, heat it up, we're done. Something that we've really been enjoying is these P.F. Chang pre-made meals. This is not the one that we usually get. This is the honey chicken. We usually get the orange chicken. We've also tried the Mongolian beef and they're all super delicious. You basically just throw them into a pan on the stove, heat them up and they're ready in like 10 minutes. This has become a staple in our freezer for the nights where we're starving. We don't wanna wait for a meal in the oven and it's so easy, I love it. Another super easy thing that we absolutely adore now, if you don't live in Texas, you are not going to be able to get these specific, this specific item, but I'm sure that a lot of other grocery stores do something similar to this. And that is the simple meals or meal simples, simple meals from HEB. You pop these puppies in the oven, usually between 20 and 25 minutes. They're done. This is my favorite one. This is the seafood stuffed salmon with broccoli. Oh. I could eat this once a week. I don't, but they have a ton of different options. This is so simple. Something that's become, an, again, a staple almost every week in our fridge. I'm not one for sparkling water. I don't like sparkling water. I think it's gross. I've tried so many different types and I've never liked any of them until I came across this at the store. <laughs> this is the Bi Bubble Sparkling Antioxidant Infusion Water. This is in Jamaica Blood Orange. I haven't tried this one yet, but I have tried. There is a watermelon one that I was absolutely in love with. Could not stop drinking it. It was delicious. And then when I went back to the store, there were three different flavors I had never tried. A pineapple, this blood orange, and then I also have a black cherry in the fridge. I can, I, I love these. I would rather these be more a treat than anything, but so freaking good. Five calories, are you kidding me? Next up is a tea from the traditional medicinals. <laughs> this is the organic throat coat tea. If you know me and you've had a sore throat or been sick, either I have brought this to you, brought you a packet or told you to buy this tea. I love this tea. Sometimes when I don't have a sore throat, I still drink this tea because I love it so much. Throughout all of this time, I've had really bad allergies. And so when I feel a little bit of a tickle in my throat, I break this out and have a, a glass of tea. Probiotics. Probiotics to me are something that is an easy way to help keep your body healthy. And I've been grabbing these from Target. These are the Renew Life Ultimate Flora Probiotic probiotics. <laughs> I think it's super important to take a probiotic every single day. Now for something a little more fun. <laughs> this is the Lifesavers Went to Green. I, Charles makes fun of me because I'll grab a little handful of these and I will eat them like candy and he keeps telling me those aren't candy. They pretty much are to me. They're delicious. I love winter green flavored stuff. Mints. I love gum like this. Delicious. And this is a humongous bag. I just, I, I cannot get enough of these. And lastly, in the food category is going to be actually some dog food. I recently switched Carter over from using the natural pet or healthy pet from the HEB cold section, but my mom actually turned me on to this. This is the farmer's dog, real dog food. This is real food. I believe it's human grade. I feel like I actually think that I could eat this. I'm not going to, but he has been gobbling this up. Absolutely, let, he's staring at me right now as I'm holding this package like, you gonna feed me some? Carter is kind of a picky eater. A lot of things that we even try to hand him that are human food, he will not eat it. 
and it's just seemed to me that he hasn't been super excited eating his food recently and he won't eat it. Granted, this food is like twice the price of what we were getting him before, but for me, they live a short life. They're having to eat the same thing every day. You wouldn't want to eat the same thing every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So why should he have to do the same? I really like this brand. I like what they stand for. The story behind everything is really cute and I, I'm a fan. I really like it and it seems like he does too, which makes me happy because I see him get excited now when he goes to eat his food and he eats all of it. So the next category that we're gonna be talking about is gonna be skincare and hair care. What I wanna start with is this. This is The Ordinary, the brand that has blown up in the last few months, has been sold out everywhere, but I actually found some stuff on Sephora and Ulta and that's where this all came from. I feel like what really started it all was this Ordinary AHA and BHA peeling solution. It's a mask that you can use, I think up to maybe three times a week, depending on your skin, and it leaves your skin silky, baby smooth. I really have been enjoying using this for exfoliation versus scrubs because scrubs are really bad for your skin and can damage and tear. I, I'm never using a scrub ever again. I actually have really been enjoying it and I'll take it down my neck and onto my chest just to help with breakouts, wrinkles, those kind of things. As you can see from the bottle, I've been using it a lot. The other two products I wanna mention from The Ordinary is the 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil and the 100% Plant Derived Squalene. Both have been super awesome. I love using the squalene because it really adds a lot of hydration to my skin if I've been outside, if I have dermaplane, if I had to do like a spot treatment, like some kind of drying, you know, for like a pimple or something. And then the rose hip seed oil is really great for calming and soothing the skin and also adding a little bit of hydration. So this to me is insane. This was such a surprise to me how much I actually enjoyed it. And as you can see from the bottle, I'm not lying. I received this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner in an Influencer box to test out. And I ended up absolutely falling in love with this. I was so shocked by this product. I felt like it really did wonders for my skin and the redness that I had. I had actually had a breakout on my skin and I was using this after it had healed up some. I had a little bit of remaining redness and I swear to you that this erased the redness. It was crazy. I could not believe it. I was in total shock, disbelief, but now I stand by this product. It's fantastic. I do not use these at the same time though because this is exfoliation and this is a type of exfoliation so i don't want to get too much exfoliation and then my skin be sensitive so i use this maybe once or twice a week and same i usually only use this once a week next i'm going to move on to hair care so i actually have my hair balayage with blonde so i found out from many years of dyeing my hair that it's super important to add oils back into the hair and keep it hydrated so i've been using this redken diamond oil glow dry i've been enjoying this because it is a more watery consistency and that a little bit goes a long way i can pretty much cover the all of my balayage with like a pump and a half maybe two as you can see i've been using it but i do have other oils in my hair care cabinet that i interchange out whenever i wash my hair another product that really really surprised me and i was not ready for is this we hair care leave-in conditioner. I'm not even sure if I'm saying this right, but I saw on an end cap at Ulta one day and I decided to grab it because I knew that I would need some kind of a leave-in conditioner to add a little bit of softness to my hair. And as you can see from the bottle, that much of it is gone. But yeah, you just run it through damp hair. And then um, so I usually don't fully dry my hair. I'll spray it in, I dry my roots, and then I'll let my hair air dry for a bit. And I usually then throw it up in a bun using the Silk Slip Scrunchies. Silk Slip Scrunchies. I have been obsessed with these, and this is my last hair product. Uh, I love it because it doesn't leave any creasing and it doesn't really like yank on your hair when it's up. They have the skinnier ones, which you can wrap around a lot more times, and they have the bigger scrunchie styled ones since scrunchies have really come back into style from the last year or so. So I've really been enjoying these. I do use these every single day. You pretty much can't catch me without one on my wrist, you know, except for right now. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be moving on to fitness and fashion, if you will. So these shorts are my favorite, favorite, favorite workout piece. 
I'm obsessed with these Gymshark shorts. I have three colors. They are a little bit shorty. You know, you can get like biker short style, but these I'm obsessed with. They're high rise. I think that's what you call it, high rise. They have great material. They're stretchy, but they also are, they compress. They make me feel good when I'm working out. I have on a cute outfit. I have gray. I have the bl like the blue, green, marl, and then I also have black. The next brand that I want to talk about is a company called Love Fitness Apparel. So they are actually Hawaii based and they make workout clothes and they're so, like, they have such cute stuff. It has a cute little heart here that's super tiny. You can barely see the material is super stretchy. Again, they're going to be the high rise and the material, honestly, the quality is about the same as Gymshark. You do have to watch out because their stuff sells out super fast online. So it's important to either be signed up for their newsletter or the little notify me thing online of when it comes back into stock, or you can actually follow them on Instagram. They're pretty active on there talking about when they're going to be restocking items. The last fitness thing I'm going to talk about is this resistance band from Hurdlin. I think it's supposed to be kind of like a play on words of like hurdling over something. I love the material on this and the inside of it actually has like a no slip. So when you put it on, it either sticks to your skin or sticks to your clothes to help it stay in place. But I've used those other resistance bands that are kind of like rubber bands, I guess you could say, and they always roll up, but this really stays in place. And I feel like it's a lot more, it's a lot tighter. So I feel like I'm really like getting an intense, like burn and workout when I'm using this. And something I do want to mention is I am following the program Alive by Whitney. I've had it downloaded on my phone pretty much since the beginning of the year. I started off doing the Alive 1.0 program and then the virus came into play and the gyms closed. So I wasn't able to complete it. But then she released a Alive Inside program that I did complete. I really enjoyed it. And then I started doing the Alive 2.0 and I was going to the gym for a bit, but I kind of started feeling a little uncomfortable because the gym is seriously like so germy. So I quit going, I quit that program and I'm starting Alive Inside for the second time. I'm on the second week of that. I really, really enjoy her app. It makes me feel strong. It's the cool thing about Alive Inside is that you only need dumbbells and like a resistance band, which all of that stuff you can get online. Even if you don't have it, I've had friends say they've used bottles of wine or like cans from their pantry in order to lift weights. And I don't know, it's a really, really great community. It's a great program. I'll leave her app, her Instagram in the description box below because I really enjoy it. She's super inspiring and super uplifting. The last thing I wanna talk about is this little top. I actually had it on in my birthday video that I recently uploaded. I absolutely, I mean, I just love this shirt. It's ribbed, it's stretchy, it's almost kind of workout material, so you could use it as a workout top. I just prefer to use it for a casual or, you know, like going to eat or something. But it's from a company called Siesta Vu or Siesta Vu or something like that. I, I don't know how to say it, but it is a boutique that's in New York, and I am obsessed with this shirt. They come in other colors. They have a bunch of other stuff on their website that's kind of made out of the same material, along with a ton of other stuff too. Um, I actually have a pair of hoops that I got from their site that I've worn a ton of times. They're real small, super, super cute. I absolutely love this shirt. Like I said, it's so comfortable. It really wasn't that much. I think it was like 20 bucks, but I absolutely love this shirt. I will also leave a link down in the description box if you're interesting, if you're interested. And that is really it for this video. That concludes all of my favorite things during quarantine. And I have really, really just come to fall in love with all of these products, things I'm either using every day or getting weekly. It's just the little things right now that I feel bring joy that are so important to us right now, especially with everything that's going on. Find those little things that make you happy, that make you feel good, that make you feel beautiful or handsome or strong or have your belly happy. <laughs> right now, it's really a it's, it's truly about finding happiness, like I said, in the little things. So if there's something during quarantine that you've been enjoying, drop a comment below. Let me know what I should be checking out that could truly become something that I wanna use every day or buy every single week. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting me, watching this video. It truly means the absolute world to me. 
and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I, I cannot get enough of these men's. Like, I'm, I really have got to stop.